we're doing a review of two uh, first stage nail guns today. Uh, first one we're going to look at is the GFS. Comes with a uh, portal here for your gas. Your gas cylinder in there. And comes with two batteries. Price of these are about $400. Pretty cheap. Ready to go. That's the gas lining up. So she's ready to fire. But we won't do that because I'm sitting in my living room. So first stage nailers are for framing work, rough sawn timber work. Shooting these nails. Now, only problem with it is, is this. Uh, very hard to get. Can get them off eBay, Gumtree, places like that, but very hard to get. You've got to order them in. No one stocks them. Second one we're going to look at. Upgrade. Makita. Now, this nail gun is uh, pretty much as similar as that one. Comes with your uh, battery port here. Comes with your gas chamber here. Now, anyone would recommend Makita tools. I love them. I think they're one of the best tools on the market. However, you cannot buy gas cylinders for the Makita. It's an $800 gun, brand new, delivered to me today. And I find out you can't get gas cylinders for them. Makita no longer makes them. They tell you a Koala one will fit. However, Koala one doesn't exist. And they tell you Senko will fit. Senko is based in Switzerland, somewhere over there, and markets to places like Germany. All European countries, Australia's not even on their list. It says on the website that Mitre 10 stocks them. I call Mitre 10, they don't stock them. I call Makita, they don't manufacture them and have no other way of finding out where to get them from. So I contacted Sydney Tools, who originally told me they don't take a gas tank but clearly they do. So out of these two guns, GFS wins hands down because without a gas cell, the gun doesn't work. So tomorrow, unfortunately, Makita, you're going back. I'm gonna have to buy a different brand because no point having a gas gun I can't use. I don't know why Makita would go out and manufacture these and not supply the product to run the bloody gun bit stupid on their behalf but anyway they're doing themselves out of business that's their problem but I think it's a stupid marketing why sell a tool you can't use like it just doesn't make sense Makita's lost about 10 points on this so far so um, I'm going to be giving them a review online and it's a disappointing one because if you're going to sell a product you make sure you can get the bit to run it otherwise take it off my take it offline and don't sell it why would you sell something you can't use? So, $800 gun, going back. That's the end of my review. Don't buy the Makita.